Alright, so here in this video, we'll be going over all the confirmed weapons coming in Starfield. As of right now, there are a total of 17 weapons confirmed as, without a doubt, usable by the player. Many of which we even have detailed information for. However, some we don't even know the names of. So it's for certain that there will be many more weapons than just the ones we'll be going over in this video, and we may learn about them in the near future as well. But one thing we can be sure of is that Starfield will not have dragons, no matter how much Skyrim fans may want them. To fill that void, we have today's sponsors to thank, that being Playwing and Daredrop, who have uniquely dared me to completing some challenges in Century Age of Ashes, Playwing's free-to-play multiplayer dragon battle game that's available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Century just got its new update, The Last Bastion, introducing its first ever PvE mode. So the objective of this is to not just win our first match, but I also want to try to get that number one on the podium first try as well. We'll just go with the flow. We are destroying them. Give me all your gold. Don't like how they have the jewel. Six seconds survive. We did it. Oh, we won the match. We destroyed them that last round. Who's top of the podium? Woohoo, boy! So not only did we complete both dares first try, which was a lot of fun, we also did try the PvE mode. That was pretty fun as well. It's completely free to play on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So if you have any of those, you can try it out for free today. It's a pretty small download as well. And if you like dragons, if you like PvP games, or even PvE, I think a lot of you will probably enjoy this. So go check out the last Bastion update for Century Age of Ashes for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox down in the description below. Thanks again to Playwing and Daredrop for sponsoring this video. Number one, Eon Pistol. I figured we would start out with what looks to be the beginner's sidearm in the game, a combat tech manufactured pistol seen all throughout the gameplay showcase and is actually the only weapon we've gotten to see up close and personal using the in-game inspect menu which also showed off some of the many attachments that will be available for the weapon, that being the high capacity magazine, sight, and muzzle. A fun little bonus fact that we learned with this close up is that the weapon is actually manufactured on Jemison, one of the planets in the beginning Alpha Centauri system. So this is certainly going to be an early acquired weapon in the game and likely our trusty sidekick early on. Number two, unknown pistol. This doesn't seem to be just another pistol, as while we still have no name or detailed information for what looks to be a powerful energy pistol straight out of Destiny 2, this does seem like a later game situation, and the player seems confident enough to use it against this absolute abomination, so I'd say it's safe to assume that there is more than meets the eye with this unique, more sci-fi looking pistol. Number three, Grendel PDW a lightweight personal defense weapon which fires caseless 7.77mm rounds and was developed by, yet again, Combat Tech, one of the more popular manufacturers in the game. Not only have we now gotten plenty of gameplay wiping out pirates in the Crete Research Lab, but we've also gotten to see plenty of United Colonies carrying it throughout the showcase. And while it's not the most common weapon from what we've seen thus far, it is definitely up there. In fact, it was actually the very first weapon we ever got to see in Starfield back in the original in-engine teaser trailer. Number four. Maelstrom SMG. We only got two short snippets with this weapon, both of which just so happen to be mid-air, so I'm not sure if this is its secret strong suit or something, but this weapon has a more makeshift look compared to what we've seen so far with the other weapons. It almost looks like a prototype in comparison, as it still has tech on it, but it looks more tacked on than the others that we've seen. I do like that we're getting a bit of a balance between some more sci-fi looking weapons and some more grounded ones as well. Number five. AR-99. Not really sure if this is more of an SMG or an automatic rifle, but it's one of the very first weapons from the Allied Armaments that we've gotten a look at, and one that reminds me a bit of the 10mm SMG from Fallout. We even got a look at a fully modified AR-99, which makes the weapon almost unrecognizable from the base. So the modification system looks like it has some pretty solid depth to it, and will hopefully allow us to carry our weapons for the long haul. Number six, unknown SMG. Other than the fact that this weapon exists, has a mix of high-tech attachments, and doesn't physically match any of the other weapons we'll be covering in this video, I don't really have any more information for you, other than reminding you that this sort of thing is just more evidence that we know very little about the weapon arsenal in this game. But you'll understand that more by the end of the video. Number seven, 
Equinox laser rifle, or rather Combat Tech's ripoff of the Institute rifle. It's one of the few laser weapons we've seen in Starfield so far, and looks to be just like the laser rifles in Fallout. In fact, it looks to be just as common, as it's also the most prominent weapon throughout the entire showcase with the vast majority of armed NPCs sporting the Equinox rifle across multiple planets. Of course, this game is massive, so weapons could be less or more common across different systems, but we'll have to wait and see how diverse things truly get. Number 8. Coachman Shotgun A classic double barrel shotgun that we unfortunately didn't really get to see the true power of, as we only saw it taking out a weakened enemy, so while the shotgun will likely hit hard, and we know there will be more shotguns in the game as well, we don't know if the two shot sacrifice will be worth it. It also has the name Loretto on it, so my assumption is that that is the manufacturer, and we do know that Coachman is likely the base name and not some sort of unique title, as it does line up with Coach Gun, another term for double barrel shotguns. Number 9. Unknown HMG, which I'm going to refer to as the PD-3F for now, as that is the only thing I can distinguish as a possible name for this beast of what I'm going to assume is another laser weapon. Number 10. Cutter, also known as the Brace Industrial Mining Tool, which turns out isn't just used for mining resources. Which while we got to see plenty of that in the showcase, we also got to see it being used by an NPC as an actual laser weapon. Now with the constant beam and many NPCs carrying this tool around, I'm going to assume this is a pretty terrible last resort kind of weapon to use. But it's cool nonetheless to see that it actually can be used as a weapon. Number 11, Unknown Sniper Rifle. While this isn't exactly the ideal lighting or position to get a good look at this weapon, we can see what is clearly a long-barreled rifle with a scope on this character's back. We also know that sniper rifles are in the game, and this would be the one and only that we've seen so far. Again, giving you an idea of just how little we know about this game. Number 12, Combat Knife. A United Colonies manufactured melee weapon which put on a beautiful display as to why you don't bring a knife to a gunfight especially against the Crimson Fleet, who are rocking the trusty Eon pistol. We actually didn't get to see any melee weapons used by the player, so I am hoping that melee has been improved from their past games, as the hack and slash style isn't really going to cut it for a lot of people. Number 13, Unknown Knife 1. This has to be the most pathetic looking weapon in the entire game, as it genuinely looks like a prison shift. But then again, what's more terrifying? A soldier with a laser weapon, or a pirate sprinting full speed at you with a massive dose of tetanus on a sharp metal pokey stick. Number 14, Unknown Knife 2. Yet another weapon to poke holes in your enemy, or for your enemies to poke holes in you. Number 15, Unknown Axe. This is unfortunately the most unique melee weapon we've seen so far, so as with other weapon categories, I'd expect to see much more from melee weapons and gameplay in the future. Number 16, Fragmentation Grenades. Starfield does of course have throwable weapons using the Grenade Hotkey, which is a returning feature from Fallout 4 and 76, and while we only got to see these frags toss objects around a room, I do hope throwables are usable all around, especially with some more utility throwables such as flashbangs for example, adding more utility rather than just explosives. Number 17, Personal Spaceship. Yes, I am including the spaceship as a weapon, as it very much is one. There's been a ton of focus put on creating and flying around your own spaceship in this game, so you'll undoubtedly be finding yourself in a number of space battles with pirates, bounty hunters, and opposing factions throughout the game. And with your spaceship featuring both laser cannons and rockets from the gameplay we've seen, with weapons possibly being customizable, I'd say it's probably the most unique weapon covered in this entire video. Number 18, Lightsabers. All right, so jokes aside, while there likely isn't going to be any lightsabers in this game, there will without a doubt be plenty more weapons for us to learn about with future showcases, and of course, to discover when playing for ourselves. As with previous Bethesda Game Studios games, which feature well over 100 weapons, we are hopefully only scratching the surface with what's available in the game here in this video. A few obvious categories where we know we'll see more is sniper rifles, heavy weapons, explosives, melee weapons, and one thing we didn't even see a hint of was unarmed combat. In fact, we didn't see anything that looks like unarmed in the skill tree, nothing in traits, no gameplay, so I'm hoping that isn't absent in this game, even though I don't really see fists as feasible in space. Either way, I really look forward to seeing more of what this game has to offer and tearing apart any future gameplay or screenshots that they throw our way. 
as I think this game has a load of potential for a great weapon arsenal. But one thing I really wish it had was gore. But we'll save that for another video. In the meantime, I'd suggest you check out my previous Starfield Breakdown video that you can find on screen now. Or if you want to learn about the major update coming to Fallout 4, you can find that on screen as well. But that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.